Well, hello everyone. It is Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your Divine Masculine weekly forecast. But because we are still under the influence of the new moon in Gemini, and since Gemini represents the twin energy, I really wanted to also focus on the Divine Feminine today. So just take what resonates you guys and get rid of anything that doesn't. We're going to do some of this reading here, and then we're going to go further and deeper into the messages over on the extended. So I will put that information down below, as well as everything that we're going to be going into in today's reading as well as the extended so just take what resonates and get rid of anything that doesn't i don't know if i already said that and all the decks i'll be using here will be listed down below as well as these beautiful organites here all right you guys let's get into the reading let's take a look and see what is the energy right now under this new moon and gemini for the masculine Let's look at this energy. Where is the masculine currently at with his own life and himself? So this deck right here is called my Treasure Trove Oracle Professional Archetypes deck. Let's see what we need to know here. Where is the masculine currently in his own life at this particular time? How does he see himself? Let's see this energy right now. Okay, so we have the doctor. It says the doctor is in with your test results. Professional advice is coming. Keep an open mind to what you may hear. So this masculine currently could be waiting on the results of something. This could be the results of a like a decision that someone else is making. It could be a payoff of some sort where we put energy forth in something. We do something and we're just now waiting for the payoff. It could be many, many things. He could also be seeking professional advice, and he may also need to keep an open mind with what is coming to him. This could be maybe unfavorable things or critiques. So let's go ahead and go into my treasure trove tarot and get a, a tarot card that matches with this energy see what this is about oh interesting we have the ten of wands so this masculine right now might feel like he has worked his ass off like he is just you know workaholic trying to figure out what he is doing it says time to delegate and exhausted efforts so this doesn't have to just be work related you guys this could just be that he's got a lot of stuff going on he's got a lot of responsibilities and so he sees himself as really busy or or just burdened right now you know maybe needing a break and maybe Maybe there are some things or some changes that he's trying to implement. And so he's waiting to see if these changes that he's made, you know, or these tweaks to his life that he's made is going to actually work out in his favor. Because I'm just seeing here with that 10 of wands energy that he just feels done. He feels mentally exhausted. This masculine could also be going through some physical things as well. So maybe he sees himself as not well with the doctor here. Maybe he is, um, you know, looking for someone to help him or release that burden. So that's interesting energy. Okay, this week. So the new moon in Gemini might be accelerating a lot of things, you know, that need to be thought about new plans that need to be implemented, you know, um, going about things in a new way. So Mercury energy is connected to Gemini and Mercury is all about what we're thinking and just different strategies. So there could also be like a lot of mental thinking going on, um, feeling a lot of anxiety or stress when it comes to the mind. So that's what we're getting so far. Let's go ahead and see what does the heart energy look like at this time under this new moon in Gemini for the masculine. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So we have the comedian, and the comedian is all about just trying to shake things off, just trying to find the silver lining in a situation. So it says this jokester is determined to give you some humility when frowns are um, all around. It says don't take life too seriously or you'll miss out. Yeah, so there's something here that the masculine has been, you know, it's not not doesn't mean that he's been taking it too seriously. It's just that maybe he has not allowed himself time to think about anything else except for this issue or this problem. So he he's needing to take a little bit of a break or he's needing to release some of his stresses when it comes to certain things that maybe aren't the end of the world okay so adopting a new attitude so that way his heart can be lighter i like that 
the three of wands, payoff, rewards on the horizon. So it looks to me like there's a shift that's taking place for the masculine during new moon and Gemini. He's really changing the way that he's thinking or the way that he is seeing a situation. Maybe he's going to take a break from something and that's going to bring him some sort of relief and payoff later or some reward, but it's on the horizon. So I feel like whatever energy or whatever environment like he's either stuck in right now, He's trying to get through it, and it looks like on the horizon, this is where a lot of that relief is going to be. So in his heart, it's almost like he knows that better times are just ahead, okay? So let's go ahead now and take a look at the energy here of the environment. How does the masculine see his environment right now, or how are other people affecting his life? We do have the lawyer. Some of them could be that burden for some could have something to do with being in the, um, in the midst of like a legal battle, either a divorce, child custody, uh, being sued, or just there's some kind of legal documents. These could even be taxes with that lawyer's energy, but it says, beware of narcissistic people. That's interesting. There could be a narcissist around them. There could be somebody around them that does not mean them well. And that might be what that 10 of wands is about. You guys, it says you may need to cut your losses and walk away before you're in too deep case dismissed. Okay. This might be what the energy is where they're thinking, about something, the doctor's energy is saying it's time to release. It's time to be done with whatever this burdensome situation is. So that might be what that message is all about. It's kind of like, you know, just laugh at yourself. Sometimes when we try to get even with a narcissist or we try to get even with somebody that doesn't seem to care, that's so toxic that they're just willing to let everything crumble and lose everything. Um, you can't really win with someone like that because they just don't care. So I feel like this masculine is dealing in his, with his or in his environment with somebody that basically either just doesn't have a conscience or they're just out for blood. And he's, it's not that he can't win the situation, but at what point do you realize that it is having an effect on your mental health, your well being? So I feel like this masculine is kind of getting to this point in his heart space. Like he knows that this is just something that's not worth his time or his energy anymore. He just knows that this is something that just he needs to walk away from. So I don't know what that is for everyone, but that's what we have. So better times are ahead. Right now, it might be a little stressful. So let's go ahead and get a tarot with that. Interesting. We have the sun and I love that because it says here, I am seeing things clearly. I am seeing that this is what I need to do. So if the masculine is in the midst of a custody battle and he's trying to, you know, just kind of do things outside of the court, trying to appease someone, I'm getting here that he is going to have to take matters into his own hands. He's going to have to solidify something through courts, through paperwork, through documents and have everything, um, as a business arrangement, because this narcissistic person might be manipulating the masculine and, and, and actually stunting his growth of, or the possibility of being happy. Okay. This can be uh, a legal situation at work, like a lawsuit or something like that too. <clears throat> but I feel like with that narcissistic energy, there's someone in the masculine's environment that wants him to do things their way and it's not fair, meaning this masculine is being drained. This masculine is being scorched by the sun instead of growing and moving on to the next phase of his life. So you know, that there's something in his, in his space that needs to go is what I am seeing this week for the masculine. So this new moon in Gemini is fantastic because it's a new mindset. It's we're seeing clearly we're thinking logically with under that Gemini energy. Okay. Cause it's all about logic. We're not thinking emotionally. We realize that you know, that's what a lawyer does or a judge does. They have to think logically. They're not ruling with their emotions. So that is what is clear this week, I feel. Very interesting stuff. So let's now take a look at the feminine. All right. So the majority of my viewers are feminine. So I'm going to be speaking to you like um, that, as in you're the viewer. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for the feminine this week. How is the new moon and Gemini affecting this feminine? What's coming up for the feminine for this new moon in Gemini? Let's look at this. All right. How does she see herself or what's going on here? Ooh, we have the monk. It says 
Find inner serenity through the silent monk. Your thoughts become things. So practice becoming the master of your own universe. That's fantastic. So the feminine is taking some time to align her thoughts with the things that she wants, the things that she wants to manifest instead of spending too much time on fear and on negativity. And we have the page of wands. And this is great because this has to do with perhaps ideas. It says a new position, creative projects, a breath of fresh air. That rocket ship is actually pointing up. So this is ascension. This is um, ascension of the mind. This is higher vibrational thinking. This is going places, focusing on your goals, focusing on the things that you'd like to create this week all really wonderful influences for that new moon in Gemini. So I just feel like things are going to start looking up for the feminine. She's going to start thinking in terms of what she can create instead of focusing on the things that she doesn't have. So to me, it's a very uh, go lucky attitude, optimistic thinking. It's, it's really, really good. So what's going on for the feminine's heart space this week? under the new moon and Gemini. Wow, we have the artist energy. And so there could be something very creative that this feminine is really good at. She's artistically inclined. Something that she's creating is going to be well received, but it does say inspiration will soon find you. Express your artistic talents. The world around, I'm sorry, the world would be colorless without your creative gift. So some feminines could be really feeling like they're in, you know, they're in there aligned with their purpose and their mission, or you're kind of like getting this inclination of what you want to do with your life. Oh, it's so fantastic. Love this energy. Okay. We have the eight of cups. Yeah. And this means here, whatever you guys have been doing so far, whether it's career or something that you have been working on, if it's not working or it's not really what you enjoy, you are not afraid to walk away from that because this says branching out, moving onwards, bigger and better things. So it's like, you know, that the sun you're wanting to go towards the sun, this little pull with the, um, with the cash, some of you might be leaving a position that pays more to go onwards to doing something that you really enjoy that might pay a little less. So that's something that you're really trusting your heart space this week that tells you that there's something better for you on the horizon, that there's something that you, that are, that you're meant to create. And so you're going towards that goal. I think that's amazing. What else? Let's take a look at the environment here for the feminine. Ooh, I like that. The dietitian. So it says the health, this health nut is willing to provide knowledgeable input for your plate. Partake in healthier foods to boost, boost your mood and energy levels. Okay. So the feminine realizes that it might be time for her to go on some sort of a diet. And this doesn't necessarily mean physical, even though like it can be like with food, this might just be, I'm taking a break from social media. I'm taking a break from TV. I'm taking a break from uh, being around so many people all the time. I'm taking more time and consideration for my own mental well being and my own, you know, space and, and just being at home with me. So there's something here that she's looking to improve with her physical environment. That's what I'm seeing here, her physical environment. Yeah, because there's something here that maybe is not making her happy with that five of cups. It says setbacks to motion and company downsizing. Now, feminine, if you guys have just recently been released from a position or you were not happy at work and you had to maybe step away from a position, this is the best possible thing for you. You might not be able to see that right now, but spirit is basically telling you to try to see the silver lining in the situation because there's something that maybe just was not meant for you any longer. And the only way that you were going to shift into the new is by being let go. Sometimes that's just how life works. There are tower moments that we can't control, but those tower moments lead to beautiful things. So lots of positive things happening this week with that Newman and Gemini for both masculine and feminine. I love it. So now what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to go into the current connective energies that this new moon and Gemini is representing and how both of you guys are responding to it. So this particular deck right here is called the Twin Flame Ascension Cards. So let's see what's going on with this connection. What's going on with your connective energy here? What's being represented or presented, I should say. Ooh, I like this. 
reprogram your soul, release, raise, and reclaim. Okay. So sorry, you guys, my cats are, they're just play fighting, but it does sound a little ferocious, but we've got the fives here. So fives are change. Fives are also very challenging. So sometimes we need to feel that pain before we can reclaim and then gain. I like that. So that five, five, this just means both people, the masculine and the feminine of this connection are actually going through a reprogramming on a soul level. They're releasing things that no longer serve them. They're raising their vibration so that way they can reclaim their path. They can reclaim their destiny. They can reclaim who they really are meant to be in this particular lifetime. It's fantastic. We also have mission accomplished 1111. Welcome home. Wow. I've used this deck quite a bit and that's a card I've never seen before. So that's pretty cool. 1111. You know, that's how, when I see 1111s, I don't think of, oh, uh, union necessarily with the twin. What I see is spirit is giving me a sign that I am on the right path. Okay. Welcome home as in you are reclaiming who you truly are. And that's just how I'm seeing that message. So if some of you guys are seeing 11 11s, of course it could mean different things for, you know, different people, but I just feel like spirit is basically saying to both twins that you guys are on the correct path. You guys are walking towards your, your destiny. The road is opening up for you. For the masculine, we know that there's something that he's needing to release. There's something that he's needing to handle in order for him to be able to reclaim who he truly is. The feminine, it looks like there is something that either has already happened or there's something somewhat, uh, depressing or painful that could be happening for her right now. But I feel like spirit is reminding her that this is pushing her on the path that's right for her. So let things go that don't serve, let things go that just aren't working right now, because it's ultimately pushing you towards this path of enlightenment. Oh, I love that. And we have reunion. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cool. So yes, some of you, this does mean for you, even though I see, I already just said this, that doesn't mean every time I see 11, 11, it doesn't mean reunion for me, but guess what? For some of you, it is, that's so cool. 10, 10. So we have reunion, reconciling differences. Some of you guys could experience a reunion under this new moon's influence or whatever shifts and changes take place under this new moon and Gemini's influence. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So spirit is basically saying here, whatever needs to be reconciled, um, this, these could also be the reconciling the differences within ourselves. And, uh, that is also reclaiming who we truly are by ex experiencing things that we need to release so we can raise our vibration and reclaim who we truly are. So to me, this is a union either within or a union with your person, with your, with your twins. So that's very, very cool. Okay. This deck is called the Twin Flame Key Cards. Let's see what else is coming through for this connection this week. Interesting. I was just talking about the, um, the alignment and union within the self. So some of you, this is what that is. The journey to self starts with you. Your twin has awakened you and both, both must now walk their own paths either together or apart. So some of you, this is together or apart. There is a greater spiritual goal, honor and support each other's journeys. I love it. So obviously there's a lot of people in this collective and people are on different, um, you know, di different levels of ascension here. So if, if some of you are not with your twin, um, your masculine, your feminine, this is an indication here of honoring and supporting the path and the journey that your counterpart is on right now by allowing them the space and the time that they need in order to release, raise, and reclaim, okay? To reprogram their soul. Because if you've had issues with somebody over and over again, it's going to be very difficult in, until they do that work in order for the two of you to experience success. So let's go ahead and see what the energy here is of all of these things that are presenting themselves. This right here is my Twin Flame Journey Oracle. All right, let's see. 
Okay, so we have a crossroads. And I feel like both masculine and feminine actually are at a crossroads. This could be with the connection. This could just be in your own lives. I really saw a lot of that energy, so that makes sense to me. Let's go into my Twin Flame Journey Tarot and see what that crossroads is about. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo's energy. And Virgo, uh, or this Knight of Pentacles, is one of the slowest moving knights in the entire tarot deck. Uh, that's why we've got the snail there representing the movement here. It almost seems like there is no movement, but we do have the word steady progress. So what that's indicating here is that even if you're not seeing, if even if you're not seeing action steps being taken, even if you're not seeing things that are going the way that you think that they should go, this is saying honor and support your counterpart's journey. Okay. Obviously if it's hurting you and it's holding up your life, that's not necessarily your person doing that. That is you allowing that to affect you in that way. So we all have to make decisions and align with ourselves. So if you and your twin are not aligning at this time and you're putting your life on hold and you're really unhappy and you feel like, you know, your life is just crumbling, that's, that's a self issue. Okay. So we are being asked to honor and support. And sometimes that means letting your person figure things out on their own, letting them do what they need to do. Of course, you know, um, again, we're not suggesting that we just allow people to hurt us and treat us like crap and like an option or a doormat. Okay. So we don't want to get that mixed up, but this to me just tells me that right now this connection could be at a crossroads and it will take some dedicated effort from that Knight of pentacles to start somewhere. So I feel like this is probably the beginning stage of of working towards this reunion. That's what I'm seeing. And of course, this really starts with the self. We have big dreams. Awesome. So I can clearly see that both the masculine and feminine look like they've got some things that they want to do, especially the feminine. The feminine has a lot of big dreams. She's got a lot of creative potential, creative talent to do something, to walk her journey towards her purpose, her mission, her destined path. And I also feel like the masculine is walking towards his own destined path in a different way. Ooh, divine masculine. Yes. Emperor's energy. So I feel like there's big things actually ahead. And this masculine, as he clears that energy, as he uh, aligns more with himself and honors himself, the, the more um, of a possibility of this reunion between masculine and feminine. So the emperor is all about taking back one's power handling things with authority, taking responsibility for actions. However, that looks emperor is also Aries energy. So it's very masculine in nature and it's about taking charge and taking control connected with Mars and Mars is very passionate gets things done, but sometimes can also, you know, turn to anger. And sometimes anger can be a motivator to get things done. And I feel like whatever the masculine is currently experiencing, he might need to get angry. He might need to get passionate in order to be done with a narcissistic person or a situation that's holding him back and get serious about putting his life back in order and taking back his power. That's what I'm seeing here with that for the, for the masculine. What else? Yeah, we have the material world. So there's a lot of different things that are happening um, in the material world right now. A lot of things that could, um, could like a lot of changes that could be experienced here that are going to lead to the eventual outcome of this connection. So there could be karmic contracts with other people. There could just be things that are happening on that level. Yep some in prison energy. There might be fear around money or there might be fear around survival. So, you know, whether this is feminine or masculine, I actually feel like it might be a little bit more of the masculine just because of what I've seen so far. As long as he continues to just kind of stay uh, stuck or imprisoned in a unsatisfactory situation, the less that he is going to be aligned with himself. So uh, the Eight of Swords always reminds us that 
there's something that we're thinking, there's a way that we're handling our lives that kind of keep it from changing. And that's just what I'm seeing here. That could, of course, apply to the feminine as well. But I love this because we do have, there is a new direction. There is a new way. And that's what this new moon in Gemini is actually representing, is that, that we can uh, create these new changes under this new moon's influence. We can make certain choices, right? We can make, we can make different choices, actually, than we've been making for a while that will change everything. And this is about committing to a goal. The Four of Wands can be seen as that 1111 card, the foundation of the connection, the foundation of the twin flame, you know, connection and journey. So I just feel that even though these, this house and this dream might be in the clouds right now where it's not really based in reality, or maybe it doesn't seem like it can ever be a reality, Spirit is actually suggesting for both the masculine and feminine to align with the self. Let that be your focus instead of focusing on your person, you know, so much because this will also, this will actually help to strengthen, you know, the connection by strengthening yourselves. So that's that message there. And that's a pretty general one that we always hear, but sometimes people need to hear it again. Ooh, we have the muse energy. So there, there could be some creative people here. Masculine and feminine could be very artistic, but this to me is like we're creating our own canvas. We're creating our own picture. So we are going to be going into on the extended what the story currently is in our mind. Is it a good one? Is it a positive one? We, we create what we're, you know, like we're creating constantly with what we're thinking and what we're feeling and how we're seeing ourselves as well as how we're seeing other people. So I feel like there's an opportunity to upgrade this energy to see things more positively. Oh yes. And you guys can do it. Absolutely. The six of wands means this is recognizing that this is so crucial in life. And it's not about, you know, you can't be realistic and see things for what they are. Sometimes the world is ugly. Sometimes people, you know, are, are ugly as in their insides and the, the narcissistic person, for instance, that could be in this situation around the masculine. That's a very ugly energy. So we're not pretending that there aren't bad things that happen in the world and that there are not bad people because there are, but it's about choosing to focus more on the positive aspects of your life. Like when we wake up in the morning, we can choose to think about everything that sucks, or we can choose that we're going to focus on everything that we, we can control, which would be our schedule and what we're creating and the time and dedication that we're giving to ourselves and taking care of ourselves, etc. Those things we can control. Um, but when we wake up thinking that we need to manipulate and control other people, that's where things are going to unravel because all it's going to do is it's actually just going to create a bunch of crap around you. It, 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 it rarely ever works out when we try to control what everyone else is thinking and doing and just kind of focus on our own lane. So that right there, I feel will be much more successful is if we take our paintbrush and we start creating what we would like to experience and what we would like to create. So both the masculine and feminine are really starting to wake up to this idea that there's so much more to experience in life as in much more positive things. You guys are tired of being set back. You guys are tired of being unhappy or unfulfilled. You guys both want so much more. So I feel like you guys are both on the same page here. And even if it's salt or uh, solo for a little bit, that's okay. Even if we have to be in that hermit energy for a while to figure it out, we're eventually going to get to a point where we're ready to align with each other. Yep. It could be right now you guys are just spending time aligning. And this is pretty cool because this is really where the feminine is at right now. We saw those rocks with the monk. See? See the rocks? There it is. Healing and recovery. So the masculine, we can see he's going through something right now. And he's healing and recovering as well. So... If this is something that's just happening right now, I'm just getting with this, where the vibe is of this reconciling differences and this reunion, this is obviously on the horizon. This is obviously that dream that, you know, maybe both of you guys have to actually be with someone that gets you, be that, be, or be with someone that actually wants 
the same things as you being at home with a, another person. These are all things that are possible and on the horizon with your counterpart, you know, but it is going to take that healing and recovery in a solo way first before that can obviously, you know, be experienced in the physical material world. So that's what we have right now, you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look over on the extended, which I'll put the link down below. What is the current story playing out in both of your minds about, or about each other and this connection? We're also going to go into how you and your twin are connecting in your dreams, telepathically, higher self, or in that 5D. So a lot of messages there we'll get. We're also going to go into what each twin is struggling with right now when it comes to this connection. And also, what signs is spirit sending to you for future navigation of this connection and this journey? So if you guys would like to join me over there, please do so. Again, I'll put that link down below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.